Aww. They're so handsome. <gasps> so I mean, cute. The other one just wandered off somewhere. Oh my goodness. Well, these are the guys, yeah. So cute. They're all nice guys. Yeah, they are. They're <laughs> like, they like I see you guys have solar too. We just yeah, put we solar in ours. <laughs> Did you? Yes. You're so cute. How long have you had yours? Uh, this will be the second year. It reduces our electric bill from used to be about 175 in the well. You know, we don't pay for water. Oh, okay. Water comes from the well. So it used to be that much, but now it's about fifty dollars a month. Not bad. That's for electric and water. Oh wow. They like the shade. <laughs> They do. They don't like the direct sun very much. Do they like water? Oh yeah. I had to take their swimming pool and drain it before you got here because they'd be in the water. Getting <laughs> then they'd be all wet. <laughs> Where do you usually take them in the water? Like uh, just that swimming pool? Or? These guys have never been anywhere except around the house. Okay. Swimming pool right there out in the front yard. We take them out in the front. It's shady out there and then you guys don't have to okay. squint in the sun. Mm -hmm. There's one smaller one, the one closest this way. Mm -hmm. He's small. I like it. It's quiet out here. <laughs> yeah. There's no street lights at night. Uh, right. No street noise or anything. It's a full moon. Yeah, we don't hear anything except the horses and yeah. the coyotes. The yard here gets full of rabbits <laughs> at night. I made that fence there to keep some of the rabbits out because there gets to be too many. I didn't even get to mow the lawn. <laughs> we cut the lawn for him. <laughs> You're waggers. You're waggers. You're so waggers. Their disposition is going to be really laid back like this. Mm -hmm. They're not real hyperactive dogs. That's good. And so they're not going to be bouncing off the walls. And they'll follow you around just like they followed us out here. If you stop someplace, they flop right there with you. And then when you Are their temperaments move, a little differently? I mean, different according to what you've seen so far? Like each and every one of them? Yeah, each personality? Yeah, personality, yeah. That one. Which one do you like? And that one. That one? Yes. That one. <laughs> They're all so cute. He's following I didn't like the sun. Mommy. Yeah, stay there, honey. This one is with the... Um, this one's with the yellow ear. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the grandkids come and play with these puppies as they're growing up, so they've already been through all this stuff. Yeah. They're used to being handled. Oh, yeah. And even if they're not, honestly, even if they're not, they'll take to it really quick. <laughs> oh, he's looking for his brothers. This breed of dogs came from the island of St. John. They were water dogs. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're one of the only dogs that have got webbed feet. If you look in between their toes, oh, yeah. they've got webs like a seal. Mm -hmm. And they got a straight tail right on the top of their spine so that it rides on top of the water. Mm -hmm. Their ears and, and pelt are resistant to water. They actually have fur underneath their hair. And that fur seals the water out. 
And so this breed originated on the island of St. John's, and so they were fish-eating dogs rather than meat-eating dogs. Oh. And it was the only dog. They were wild on that island like coyotes are wild around here. And so everybody had one. The, uh, the fishermen made pets out of them, and they trained them to retrieve their nets in the water. Amy, just say no. Then. They would actually dive under the water and retrieve their nets and their uh, fishing gear. I see. And uh, so We have a pool, all... so that's, that's good, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. They'll love the pool. <laughs> So, they're fish-eating dogs, which is why I think they're America's number one dog. Personally, I've never seen it, never heard anybody theorize about it, but my theory is, is that the reason they're so good and they don't bite people mm -hmm. is because they, their whole breed developed on an island with fish, and so they don't have a long history of chasing warm-blooded animals. I see. Biting them. Hey, puppy. The other one has a little bit of more blocky face, I think. Blocky head. Mm -hmm. This one's a little smaller than the other one. Hey, puppy. Puppy, puppy, come here. Don't let his size fool you now. He'll grow up to be as big as the other dog. Yeah. yeah. You trying to make a Laker fan out of him? <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be his um, Laker buddy. Mm -hmm. You go to the Laker games with you? Yeah. <laughs> Man, they're all so pretty. They're so chill. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How often do they eat? These little puppies this age eat three times a day until they're four like months cup, old. Like a cup of? Uh, yeah, a cup each time, three times a day until they're, uh, they're four months old. And then you can cut them back to twice a day. But you still have to continue to uh, elevate the amount that you feed them because they're growing. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. By the time they're a year old, you can feed them once a day their entire amount, morning, evening, or whenever you want to feed them. Amy. Get down, you're heavy. I feed mine in the evening so that they're all digested and they've got their business out of the way before we go hunt in the morning. See so you hunt with the other dogs? Yeah. I don't know how to call dogs. So soft. You so soft. That's the fish that makes them soft. The fish in their diet. Hmm. Do you do you uh, feed them like real fish? It's a it's a dog food. The dry dog food comes in a bag. Okay. Um, it's salmon and peas. Mm -hmm. So it's real fish, but it, you know it's processed. I see. It smells like fish. And then we mix that with uh, green and puppy chow. Mm -hmm. You guys from Corona? Um, uh, Westminster, Huntington Beach. Oh, Westminster. Yes. Really? We went there, had old airplanes in there, you know. And so you, you fly your own planes? planes? Yeah. Wow. And so all the old guys would fly in there, and the cool thing about it is it was uphill from the ocean. So you could fly in there with a skateboard and get on your skateboard and go all the way to the beach without ever having wow. to Wow. <laughs> you had to carry your skateboard back, but it was a free ride down there. It was only about half a mile anyway to the beach. It was it was a sad day. Everybody was. Sad I wonder what's there now. Out. They bought that property, put houses on. Oh, it. I see. Worth a lot more with houses. Go to town. Mm-hmm. Hey, we made it. Mm-hmm. Kind of that. 